What's up, Bell County High School? I'm Thomas Saylor, and I'm here with Coach Hilton for the last, the final episode of the Dudley Hilton Show until next season. Um, we missed two games, uh, the Breathitt County and the Corbin playoff. Um, so, Mr. Hilton, let's start with the Breathitt County game. Uh, what was, uh, what did you think about going into the, uh, the first playoff game? Well, you know, uh, Breathitt County is kind of sentimental to me because that's where I got my start start 43 years ago. I was a, a coach there at Brezzy County and stayed there eight years and got my lovely wife Jan Hilton uh, to come with me here to Bell County uh, many years ago. But uh, it was, uh, I knew it was going to be a, a pretty good game for us over there. They uh, uh, had some trouble over there last year. I think uh, had a, a little fight on the field. A few kids got thrown out. So I, I knew they would uh, remember that and our kids kind of remember that. But uh, we went over for more for business this time. We didn't go over just glad to be there. We went over to to win and uh, and get after Breathy County, and, and I really uh, I really thought we did, and uh, we took a good crowd with us. So everything ended up turning well uh, for us over in Breathy County. I think we ended up winning like 49 to uh, eight, maybe. Um, going into your uh, from the place where you started, how how do you feel? How do you feel? the team that you have now and the boys that you've uh, basically raised for a season going in. How, how did you feel that the team was going to do? Well, I, you know, we grew up a lot this year. We, uh, we feel like our kids, uh, you know, they had the first losing season of our school history last year, but that's water underneath the bridge. That's, that's over with. We don't want to keep throwing that up to these kids because uh, they didn't want that. It just got dealt a bad hand. Uh, on um, some switches and some things they they had to go wrong here at Bell County with their coaching staff and everything. It wasn't it wasn't our student body's fault or our, our football players' fault. It was just something they caught up with it. So as the season went on, we kind of got that behind us and uh, and we grew as a team. We uh, we felt like going into Breathy County, we was more of a uh, of a family and a more of a, a together type of team. Our coaches, uh, uh, we was an entirely new coaching staff and. And, and I just felt like uh, we just got things uh, working together. We knew each other better. We knew how to make these long trips and, and how to act and uh, how to just go and play football. And I thought that's what we did. Uh, coaching staff, who do you have on your coaching staff? Well, you know, we start off, uh, I brought Sam Marple with me. He helped me last year at uh, uh, Taylor County. He was my defense coordinator there, and he came here to be my defense coordinator. He works over the to the uh, uh, vocational school or the recovery school over there, and uh, he, he works there. And of course, Kevin Napier uh, played for me many years ago, and of course, he teaches here at the high school. And then uh, Trey Harbin teaches at uh, uh, at uh, Bell Central at Math over there, and he played for me. And and Tyler, uh, uh, I mean uh, Trey, uh, let me see. Uh, you hit me on the spot. Jordan, uh, uh, Jordan Amos, a new coach that I coached in college at University of Pikeville, he followed me to Taylor County and, and he came here with me. And of course, Amos McQuarrie teaches health here. and He was the last year's head coach and he just really wanted to stay with me and, 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 and try to help me get this program going back. And then Harvey Markle, he teaches out the page and, and uh, I think fourth or fifth grade, and he came up every day to help me. So I had a pretty good staff put together, and, and as you know, we grew as the season uh, went along, and got better also. Um, not only do we thank you for what you've done this season, we also thank all the other coaches. Uh, you know, um, with all the other coaches that you named off. I'm sorry if I don't, yeah. I don't remember the names, but. Um, we thank you, the coaches, everybody that helped with the Bell County Bobcats football team. Um, all right. I, I will say that you know, thanking the coaches there, they don't get paid a whole lot. Yeah. I, you know, I'm the head coach, and I I, I make a, a a good little good little salary, but it's uh, 
uh, the head coach always get that. That's like the principal of the superintendent of the school system. They make a little bit more, but uh, the the guys that's all the assistants, uh, they they really don't. If you put, figure it up for uh, how much an hour, uh, I don't know if they'd even make under fifty cents an hour. You know, because it's just it's just a very small amount. But but I appreciate you saying that because I thank them too, and and people ought to thank them because they've put in a lot of hours that they don't get much money for, and uh, but they do it for the love, and just like you guys doing this show, you're doing it for the love of your school, and 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 uh, you know it's part of our school, and and just paying back and and being appreciative what opportunity we got. So I really appreciate you bringing up my coaches and saying a little something about them. Um, Breath of County game. Uh, what do you think your offense did well? Well, I thought we really got at them. We moved the ball well. They Most people don't face the offense like we run. We're more of a smash mouth power football team. And a lot of people does the spread and everything. And, and we don't do that here. We we play a full house backfield and we run downhill and, and uh, you know, get it going. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a good thing to see. And, and we got it going against uh, uh, Bresley County. We didn't. Uh, I, I don't know what the halftime score was, like about 36 to 6. So, so we got things rolling. I think we scored on about every possession we had. I don't think we punted that night. I think we might throw through one interception. But uh, uh, we ran the ball well. Kobe Slusher had another great night. Uh, he carried again, uh, I think, for 18 times for uh, about 130 yards, three touchdowns. Kobe just had a tremendous football season, but I thought Jordan Wommels ran the ball well. I thought uh, that uh, Will Dean uh, 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 played a little bit better over there. But we had other guys that uh, Jason Jones caught quite a few passes, and uh, and uh, AZ caught uh, several passes over there too. But uh, but I, I really thought that uh, our offense played well. I like to say we're uh, we was young. And, and I think we got better as the year went on, and I think that uh, we done a good job over offensively. Uh, defensively, uh, what do you think you did well to stop their incoming, you know, attacks and stuff like that and so forth? Well, they they just didn't score too late in the game. I thought we had a shutout going. I think uh, if we had a highlight or uh, most improved uh, phase of our football team this year, it had to be our defense, and we got better with every game. Uh, uh, the Harlan County game, uh, I really thought that we really grew up big time right there. And then, then we go to Breath County and, and allow them just uh, one touchdown. And uh, I just really, uh, uh, you know, give a lot of credit to Coach Marple and his his defensive people that helps him and the coaches and and and, and did a good job. But uh, Caleb uh, Lefevre's a sophomore D lineman, just played, uh, just really grew up the last few games and really played well. Uh, had five tackles. AZ had five with one interception, and along with uh, uh, a couple freshmen, uh, uh, Dawson uh, Wilder had forward, and Hunter Bailey had forward, and Jason uh, 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 Jones had uh, had forward with a big interception. But along with Kyle Burnett, who I thought was a leader on their defense, and and, uh, and Chubb and Trevor linebackers. I just thought really they picked us up and uh, just made our, uh, made our defense keep getting better and better every week. So uh, I, I really thought we did well over against uh, Breathitt County on our defensive side. Um, is there anything, uh, I know we won, but is there anything offensively or defensively wise that you wish you did better? Well, no, not really. When you win 49 to 8, you know, you, you, you have to be satisfied with a lot of things. We lost a little focus late in the game, but uh, uh, that's from having a big lead. And, uh, you know, we, uh, like I said, uh, uh, we kind of challenged our kids all year to get better in both phases. And, and I thought we did in uh, offense somewhat, but I thought defense was really uh, uh, took a, like a 40 or 50 grade up to 80 or 90. And, and, and you know, and you go from a D to a B, uh, uh, and student, and you know, you teachers gives you pats on the back. Well, that's what I'm going to do with my defense because I, I really thought we, uh, you know, we might not have got an A, but we, we were close, and and we we got uh, a very, uh, we you know, we got better every week. So uh, no, there's not a lot of things we do would do any different. Uh, uh, you know, we we kind of new staff and kind of getting kids in the right position is a challenge for us. And uh, sometimes, you know, uh, 
uh, that's the hardest thing about make, make sure we plan you in a position that you're suitable for. So it took us a few games to do that, and I think that's why we got better because we finally got kids where they need to be. You know, some people can handle the front of the room or, or the back of the room. Well, we got to put you in the right seat to where you can handle and learn more. And, you know, if it's in the back of the room, you're not learning. We need to move you up in the front row, you know, and you know how it is. And, uh, and the same way, uh, you know, uh, in football, we've got we got to move you around to where you're better fit for our classroom, which is either defense or offense. And that's why I don't, you know, I don't wish that we did anything any different. We just, I thought we, we improved as the year went along. Um, as this was the first playoff game, uh, after you won this, where did you think the Bobcats were going to go? Well, we, we, we had high hope. We knew next week we was going to Corbin. We knew where we was going to go. We knew we got mercy rule the first game. We knew we embarrassed our school. We knew that uh, we embarrassed ourselves, that we was a better football team than what we showed. So so we talked after the game like we do every, every game, our, our fans, our student body, our cheerleaders, anybody that want to stand around and uh, – and uh, and listen to me say a few things and uh, and I try to you know try to do motivation things to to help us uh, you know get ready for the next game we we want to enjoy this game but in the meantime we got another game we got to get ready for and and we knew we had to go to Corbin and we knew that uh, you know we need to pull together as a family as a as a cheering section as cheerleaders as football players as coaches and bus drivers we all had to go and uh, we had a hard task and, and I really thought that uh, just soon the game was over with, that's kind of what we threw our mind to because we knew where we had to go to. Um, second game of the playoffs, Corbin. Um, so it's Corbin, uh, everybody's, you know, amped about this game. Everybody's hoping, everybody's, you know, screaming at the game. But what did you, what did you think about uh, the team and yourself and the staff going into the, the Corbin game? Well, we knew we was up against a, a pretty good solid football team. We knew they just stumped their toe one time all year, and that was by one of the best teams in the state of Kentucky in Beachwood. We knew they beat Mayfield, which is one of the top teams in the state of Kentucky. They beat Alcoa, who's one of the top teams in, in Tennessee. So here we've got a school that's went out and beat two high-powered football teams, and we knew what we was up against. but. But we realized that, uh, you know, I think uh, playing them the first time when we didn't play very well, uh, that we realized some things that they put their pants on just like we do. They put them on one, one leg at a time. They don't jump in them. They don't roll in them. They, they do what we do. They, get, uh, they, they put the birches uh, uh, down on the floor and reach down there and pick them up and put one leg in and put the other leg in. So there was no difference. So, so I think this time we go in with a different attitude that we can go in there and play with them. And, and, and I, think, uh, I think that's something that, uh, that we kind of realize that, uh, you know, we, we got to go to work just like they do. And, and, and I think that's what we did. I think we, uh, uh, we feel better about ourselves having an opportunity to go back and redeem ourselves. A lot of times in this life, you don't get that second chance. Uh, you know, you beat me one time, and that might be the only time you have to prove it. But if you get that second time, then then you know you gotta you gotta make take advantage of it. And uh, I thought that's what we tried to do. Um, did you feel like you would beat Corbin this uh, this time around? As you mentioned, second chances and so. Well, I, I never, never have good uh, what I call a great winning attitude. Uh, I always, I always want to prepare to uh, to be to win every game. And I, I, I know if I work as hard as I can and get you prepared to play, then you know I, I'll take my chances. I, I hope we can win. So, so going into the game, I knew we prepared. Uh, I, I, I feel like our coaches really spent uh, a lot of time looking at films and, and watching Corbin and, and preparing the kids. I, you know, I felt, I felt good about it, but I knew we were still up against a, a monster, you know. I knew that Corbin uh, 
played a lot tougher schedule we did. They had a lot more kids than we do. They have uh, a lot more experience we do. They got uh, probably twice as many coaches as we do. And you know, they just got a, and they're a city school. They can stay and, and practice four or five hours a night. They can watch film. They can, they can do a lot more things than us county schools can do because, you know, we got to find a way home. We live pretty far out in the, out, out in the country. And uh, it just, it makes it harder for our kids to have the advantage at a, at a city school like Corbin has. And, but but I, I knew that, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, we would, uh, you know, we'd have a good chance, but we'd have to play, uh, uh, you know, free of injuries, uh, free of uh, mistakes. And, uh, you know, we started out the, the third play of the game losing our quarterback for the season because of a separated shoulder. So, so we, we, we had some stumbling blocks uh, through this game. Um, what did you think you had to improve on since the first game, since the first Harlan game of the, or sorry, Corbin game of the season? Well, we didn't move the ball at all against Corbin the first time. They just really smacked us in the mouth, give us a good, good whooping of what really a defense looks like. And it's just like us trying to run through this wall behind us here. We, we just we just hit a wall. We couldn't move. So we had to be more determined, more uh, go down there and run the ball better against them. Uh, they scored too easily against us the last time. I think uh, last time they uh, uh, maybe punted one time. This time I think we made them punt five or six times during the game. We had several good turnovers uh, that we got from them, and and we moved the ball well on them. We I thought we did some things uh, offensively to move the ball. I think you know Kobe first game he didn't didn't do very good. This time he got about 150 yards. Uh, I looked up a little stats on Corbin. Uh, they give up 100 yards in one game this year, and I'm talking about playing the Mayfield, the Beachwood, the Pulaski County, the Alcoas. Uh, they have one team that, that uh, had 110 yards in one game. Uh, we had 157 uh, on, the, uh, on that game. So, so we was by far the biggest team, or the best team that rushed against them all year. Kobe had another 100-yard game, which I think out of the 13, 12 games he played, he might have got 100 yards in either 10 or 11 of them, and, and that's a heck of an accomplishment by him. But uh, I, I just thought that, uh, you know, that's where we really had to prove, and, and we did. I, I think we, we really improved uh, offensively, but we really played good defense too. And, uh, again, I, I was very pleased at how, did we, how we did improve as a, a, the second time we played them. Um, it's the end of the season. Uh, how, do you, uh, how do you feel – like how you coached? Do you think you, that you coached to the best of your possible abilities and to your moral, uh, moral, morals and stuff like that? And well, I, I'm a I'm a moral man. I believe in that. Uh, you know, you got to keep a bunch of young men straight. We're not going out here to a uh, uh, to a fight where we're uh, uh, you know uh, uh, using any strategies we can to win a game. We don't we. Tried not do no cheap shots. We didn't get a kid thrown out all year long. We didn't have about three personal fouls. You know, I, I just I feel like that's one thing I wanted to come in here. But it's not just wanting to come in here. That's the way I've always been. My kids, uh, uh, we're going to give it all we got. Uh, we're going to try to beat you the right way. We're not going to. Uh, I'm not going to let you cheap shot or or do something to. Uh, to cause a fight out on the field, and sometimes it holds mine back a little bit. But I'd rather take a good, good, clean uh, bunch of players and go out and try to do it the right way instead of trying to make them a bunch of thugs and and this and that to do things the wrong way. So, I, I mean, we all could work a little bit harder. I I feel like I came in here and exciting. Uh, you know, again, uh, you know, my age is you know years old as you feel, you know, but. Uh, this has finished my 43rd year, and it's a long time being in it. But I'm still young and and, and heart and energetic. And, and as long as I got a bunch of kids and a bunch of a good student body like I got here at Bell County, and a good good guy that uh, can do these radio shows for us, and you no, know, that's what makes me keep going. You know, I want people to care. This is this is about the student body. This is is y'all school. It's not my school, I work here, uh, all these teachers, they work, they get a good salary. This is your school and, and we need to get out of it all we can, but as, uh, as coaches, 
you know, I just want to give everybody a fair opportunity. Uh, our football program's opened up. Anybody wants to play and, uh, and be a part of it. So, you know, again, getting back to your question, did I do a good job? I'll let y'all judge that. I, I don't know. I, I don't. Uh, but but I, I enjoyed it, and I'm glad to be back in Bell County, that's for sure. Yes. Um, I know that you've taught not only the football team, but the school and the student, you know, the student body, the coaches, anybody that comes out to the games, I know that you've taught them morals. But is there any that we have taught you? Yeah, I, I think you guys are, are super. I, I know, you know, we look forward to doing this. I think the student body on a whole look forward to a few pep rallies we had. I, I think they look forward to being up in the stands when we play that uh, dong thing that they got excited about it and that's what we want i you know and, and i think well i need to do more for my students i don't need to be so so old-fashioned that i take some fun away from them and, and i want my student body to to enjoy it because a lot of times you know we we get in a community like bell county we've lost a lot of good jobs over the year and and uh, you know with the coal and everything a lot of people don't have a lot of things uh, uh, look forward to so my thinking is I'm gonna try to help them to have something to look forward to so so I can see how much they enjoy the game of football and I think if you taught me anything I've been gone for six years and the six years I've been gone I haven't seen as much excitement as I've seen since I've come back this year and, and people really rally a lot of people really still don't know me I mean most of you was in second and third grade when I was here before so you really don't know me but I think you found out that I'm an easy man to get along with and talk with and, 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 and enjoy being around. So if nothing else, I still enjoy my students and, and uh, you, you taught me to still be myself and just being the person I've been for the 43 years I've coached and, and, and it's good to be back and, and being a part of uh, you guys' uh, school here at Bell County High School. Uh, I like to call this man the man with the morale. This man... He has been through so many playoff games and games, and his morale is still not. He's, he's got the, the most morale that I've ever even imagined of having. Um, do you, I'm not, I don't even, this playoff, just going into game two, I know that it did not crush your morale. I know that next season we're, we're going to keep going, and we're going to play as hard as we did this year, and hopefully we're going to make it to, you know, uh, farther in the playoffs and um, so tell me what you think that Bell County High School what it's got in store for next season well we already started in the weight room we already started work you know a lot of people wait till after Christmas but we uh, we've been in the weight room all week and a lot of people you know wouldn't do that so we already started. Our kids are hungry. Our community is hungry. We took a bitter county, a bitter loss down there to uh, Corbin. Uh, they rubbed it in their face pretty well. They were sore, sore winners. And when you got people being sore winners, then that makes you want to, hey, hey, we're going to see how you are sore losers, yeah. you know. But right now they're sore winners because we didn't let them have their way down there. And hopefully we can, uh, you know, just uh, grow from that. And we just got to work at it. People's going to. Uh, you know, they're going to come after us and things are not going to be easy, but uh, but I think our student body, I've already had a, uh, so many pat me on the back and, and say all, a lot of good things. and That's what it's all about. Hey, let's can't wait till football season starts again at, at Bell County High School. But, you know, we, we, we want to get out and support our uh, girls and boys basketball yes. teams and baseball and track and what else we got here in the school system and because it's part of our season. but. But we can't wait till football season start again and, uh, and and get back after them again and then start a new year. It'd be 2018, won't it? Or yes. is that where yeah. we at? Or 2000? Yeah, 2018. So, so let's, uh, you know, we we'll be there. But we just got to get our kids better prepared in the weight room and and uh, take time to build them up. Um, for all the viewers out there, um, this is the last episode of season one of the Dudley Hilton Show. Um, the show will uh, come back next year around football season, um, but obviously I'm not the only one that you know produces this show. I, we have a lot of people behind the scenes, and they're here today. And I was just wanting to thank them. And if you guys would come up on stage and 
just say say a little something it would be amazing because these guys make this happen I don't just make this happen he makes this happen um, we're actually missing one of our cameramen today Alan uh, he missed school today this is Jaden Hall uh, he works the cameras and he also edits all the videos that look amazing. Uh, this is Brandon Carter. He is the cameraman, one of the cameramen. Uh, he also uh, writes, helps write questions. This is Dalton Lovett. He does the same thing. Um, we, will all, we all work on the lots and stuff like that. Make sure everything looks good. Um, and Alan's also our, our main cameraman. Um, he also set this up back here. Every week he'd come in here and set this up. That's right. Um, but Mr. Hilton, I think all of us and the whole school would all like to thank you for this amazing football season. And sir, this is the end of our video. Thank you very much. Thank you.